let's try to do this one. Now, before we do this one, we can probably figure it out. Okay, from 0 to 2 pi, looks like that. And I want to know what the average height of that function is from 0 to 2 pi. Well, if I know half of it's above, and exactly the same half is below, we can theorize that, oh, well, this is going to be an average height of 0. So my average value of this function in this interval should be 0. Okay, but let's calculate this. So using the formula, we're just going to verify it. Average value is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi, which is the interval width. It's going to be the area underneath the curve from 0 to 2 pi under sine. Okay, so then I'm going to calculate that area under sine by integrating. So I'm going to get negative cosine x from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, and so that area is our displacement, and our displacement should be 0. So we get negative cosine of 2 pi, which is negative 1, minus negative cosine of 0, which is 1. That equals 0. So we get our area is equal to 0. Therefore, our average height is equal to 0. Okay, so we can, we, we didn't really need to do this because we know the symmetry of this graph and we know the average height must have been through that zero, should be right through there. That's our average height right there of that function. Okay, because we know that every positive value can be canceled out by a negative value underneath. Okay, so let's look at that, this one here. Uh, secant squared function. Okay, so we take a look at that secant squared function. Secant squared function looks something like this. We've got asymptotes, I think, at pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. Okay, and we want to find the average value of this function from pi over 3, so somewhere around here, negative pi over 3 to pi over 3 here. Okay, so the average height probably is going to be somewhere right about there. Okay, I'm just going to theorize it somewhere around there. That's my average height. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to find the area underneath this curve Okay, by integrating. We're going to take that area and imagine that it's, a, it's going to be a rectangular area. And the height of that rectangle by, is going to be the area divided by the width of the rectangle, and that should give us the average height. Okay, so this is our average height here, our average value. So I'm going to use my calculation. So my average value is equal to, it's going to be 1 divided by the interval width. So pi over 3 minus negative pi over 3. And then the area under that function is going to be the area from negative pi over 3 to pi over 3 of secant squared x dx. Okay. I'm going to use the antiderivative to work out the area under the curve. So this is going to be, uh, I'm just going to simplify this to uh, it's going to be 2 pi, 1 divided by 2 pi over 3, or 3 over 2 pi. And then the air, oh, I'll do that in green just so you know where it's going, coming from. 3 over 2 pi. And then the integral is going to be tan x from negative pi over 3 to pi over 3. Okay, so that's going to find that area. So my, when I work this all out, Okay, this is going to be 2 over 2 pi, or sorry, 3 over 2 pi. 3 divided by 2 pi. Tan of pi over 3 is going to be, uh, it's going to be root 3 minus negative root 3. Okay, so that works out to be that area. So I end up with 2 root 3 divided by 2, so I'm going to just end up with 3 root 3 on top. The 2 cancels out, so over pi. So that 
values are going to be approximately equal to. Uh, okay, so it's going to be 3 square root 3 divided by pi. I'm getting about 1.65 as my height. So I think my picture's a little bit off, but 1.65, okay, because that vertex here is at, is at 1. Okay, so I probably should have drawn that a little bit differently. I think that graph goes up a little bit quicker than how I've drawn it in there.